Later this year, an Iranian energy official says the Boucher nuclear power plant will go online, producing half of its expected 1,000 megawatt output. When that happens, Iran will not be running Boucher entirely on its own. Russia's state nuclear power entity, Adam Enigaprom, completed the plant after years of delays. It is now training the Iranian staff to run it. Adam Enigaprom will remain on site at Boucher for the immediate future, as it is done with other client nations such as China and India. University of Southern California engineering professor Mohammad Zahimi says Russia has important reasons to work to ensure that Boucher is operated safely. First of all, a nuclear accident anywhere is a nuclear accident everywhere. So if there is any major accident in Boucher reactor, given the proximity of Iran to Russia, um, the consequence of a major failure in Boucher will also be felt in, in, in Russia. And obviously if the first reactor does not operate well and uh, has major failure, then Iran will no longer buy any nuclear reactor from Russia. The global nuclear power industry says it has a culture of nuclear safety. That term is explained by U.S. trade group the Nuclear Energy Institute official Tony Pietrangelo. It's basically the organizational um, behavior or attributes and, and then it goes down to each individual in that organization of how they conduct themselves, what they think about, and you're never there, if you will. It's, safety culture exists on a continuum. You can always work to improve it. It's a questioning attitude, it's professionalism, and again, it's that profound respect for the technology you're dealing with. A pillar of that safety culture is thorough training for those who will operate nuclear power plants. Automatikoprom's training regimen for Boucher is described by U.S. Brookhaven National Laboratory senior scientist Opendra Rochi. They are providing operator training in terms of classroom. Then also they have full scope simulators, which are same as Western standard. And then in plant training. Like the aircraft simulators pilots train on, nuclear power operators can learn how to cope with problems in sudden emergencies without making real-life mistakes that could cause fatalities and devastate the environment. Brookhaven's Rochi says that the simulators Autumn Enigoprom trains operators on were provided by the United States as part of the international culture of nuclear safety. The International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, of which Iran is a member state, will oversee operation of the plant. The IAEA sends teams of inspectors to nuclear power plants to ensure the best practices are being followed. IAEA Nuclear Installation Safety Director Philippe Jamey. They look at the training programs, how the operators are trained to cope with accidents on simulators and so on. And we also look at the, the qualification of people to perform maintenance uh, and also the preparation of the plant uh, for possible uh, emergencies. The Atomic Energy Agency of Iran has repeatedly said that as an IAEA member, it will follow that UN agency's operational and safety protocols at the Boucher plant. Nuclear power states have learned that to deviate from established procedures can be deadly. The most glaring example is the 1986 nuclear reactor accident at Chernobyl, Ukraine. That accident was the result of plant officials conducting an experimental cooling system test on one of Chernobyl's reactors. The test caused it to violently overheat and explode, spewing radiation over much of Europe. In the next segment of this series, the issue of nuclear proliferation in Iran and how the Boucher plant might be a factor will be examined. Jeffrey Young, VOA News.